Uh, in the woods somewhere on a secret location in Sweden and uh, we have uh, the driver since I cannot drive at all I can drive but not as good as Alex and we have the RS7 and you also have some experience of the RS6 yes we did some uh, testing of that both on track and in town yeah uh, so we know we can compare it to and the interesting thing here is we get the same drive line so same engine and yeah. uh, layouts of the car but in a different body shell yeah so question for me is, have they done something to change the handling of the car from the RS6 to the RS7? Exactly. And um, we've been filming this in ultra high definition. Uh, it's like up to four times the resolution of full HD. So be sure to choose uh, like original setting uh, in your player. And many thanks to Samsung to making this happen. And what should we talk about now? Oh, you talk too much. So, Gustav, you're really good at the everyday traffic, boring stuff. <laughs> well, I'm the uh, commuting. <laughs> I, I like driving on the track. So, <laughs> like again, the M6 versus the RS7. Uh, the M6 is the track car. The RS7 is the uh, you know highway bruiser. Whereas oh, really? the M6 is you know you can play with it. Yeah. You can manipulate it. This one, it's got that uh, famous Audi understeer. You know. What do you think? But, but it's funny that you say that because uh, sometimes uh, when journalists try this, the M6 Grand Coupe versus the RS7, uh, they get better times with the RS7 because of the grip on the track, but, but you still think the M6 is the track so, choice. I mean, I can agree just because I did a test in the 997 GTS, the Porsche, yeah. and the 991 Carrera 2, the yeah. base model. Yeah. The Carrera 2 was quicker than the 997 GTS. Yeah. But it wasn't half as much fun to drive because ah. they messed up the steering. The wheelbase was longer, so it was more. I would say just more boring. Yeah. Uh, the 997 GTS or any 997, it's exhilarating because you can feel the road in the steering wheel, <laughs> and you can. It's got that short wheelbase, so it's nimble. And was the 997 GTS four-wheel drive or, or two-wheel No, they're, they're two -wheel. both two-wheel oh, two drive. Okay. So they're very similar, but, but uh, the GTS is supposed to be better, but it was actually slower. Like what you say, they, yeah. maybe the RS7 can produce a better lap time exactly. because it's of not four-wheel drive. It's not as fun. So here we have the engine of the RS7 and the RS6, you could say. Uh, but for some reason, I think uh, when you look to the attention of detail on this engine, you see that it could almost be a handmade engine. It's like uh, you have it like a, in some parts a hypercar feel. I see on these small parts here, you have a uh, painted here, uh, here, here, and there. Yes, yes, on these valves. So this is what you would do in a race car typically. Uh, the reason to do this is to see if any of the bolts move. Yeah. So instead of bolt checking a whole car, you can use these paint markers. And I actually never seen that on a road car before. And uh, but what if they turned one uh, one lap? <laughs> then you're screwed. <laughs> then you have a problem. <laughs> then you have to bolt check it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's quite compact here. It's not too much uh, space for other things. It's the smallest engine bay I've ever seen. I mean, the actual engine bay has been cut down in size too. Because those are the front fascia of this car gets me going. Explain yes, the details. it's uh, it's quite uh, aggressive front, especially on the RS7. It's more aggressive than the RS6, I would say. We have the black on the RS6. These were painted in silver. These are in carbon now, actually. When I take away some dirt, uh, and also you see the, the like hexa hexa pattern of the seats goes in the grille here as well. That's so RS, RS detail specific, exactly. Yeah. And you did notice here, it's a camera here, if you clean it up also. Right. And uh, that's night for night vision. vision. Exactly. Uh, and uh, you see also here, carbon front lip here. Uh, and I think this is optional, you can choose whether you want quattro or not on the text. I think I like it. 
Well, yeah, it does look nice. Okay, Gustav, I thought we should try at least to see if this car will slide. Will it drift? Exactly. Will it drifts? So we can do that here maybe. Okay, here we go. So, Alex, what's uh, what's your impression about this compared to the RS6? Well, you have to compare it to the RS6 a little bit, yeah. and I think this is, while it doesn't feel huge, the RS6 felt small. Yeah. So I still get that tight feeling yeah. of a compact, but while the RS6 felt like it was much smaller. So, for some reason, this feels a bit bigger. Saying Longer? that, it, it, yes. Uh, just long, just bigger. And bigger, I yeah. Say long. Uh, at the same time, this engine, man, on these twisty roads here, yeah, it's uh, just perfect. Uh, and uh, it's all effortless. Yeah. It doesn't feel like you're pushing it. The car, I mean, we got greasy conditions. Yeah, exactly. We got uh, leaves and and gravel on the road. It's great grip, yeah. Amazing grip. There's, it doesn't get caught off guard. Yeah. Like you imagine. A BMW, for instance, yeah, really would going around uh, these twisty roads, it would, it would just surprised. snappy and yeah. yeah. This thing is planted, effortless, just follows the wheel, and the stability <coughs> is huh. amazing. You can do, I was gonna say any speed, but you can do mm -hmm. 70 kilometers an hour, yeah, exactly. and it's completely stable. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, overall, yeah, R7 is a nice car. Uh, RS6 is a bit more versatile, and more down key, but if you want a sedan, that's the way to go. Uh, I'm impressed by the Ultra HD quality as well, uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to publish some more materials in Ultra HD, and uh, be sure to look on the Ultra HD playlist. Also, thanks to Alex uh, that uh, helped me with this little shorter review. Uh, we're gonna probably do more of these but much more detailed in the future uh, so yeah this is a, just a regular full HD TV this is retina it's like 3k by 2k if this would be ultra HD this would be 4k <clears throat> 4 by 3k but it's not maybe I'll upgrade at some point but anyway stay tuned for some nice movies and comment below what you like and what you hate and what you don't like and subscribe of course it's soon 100,000 subscribers uh, and next year 200 million viewers probably take care